What's up guys here at PRI 2023. We got Dan here, owner of Rockingham Dragway, 50% of the ownership here. Can't get the other guy on camera, but we tried. Long story, but anyway, tell us a little bit about the improvements because I know you've been doing a ton of stuff at Rockingham lately. Uh, well, there's, the list is long and I'm sure I'll forget some stuff, but we've owned the track for 13 months now. Um, since taking ownership, we've uh, done brand new concrete, 800 feet by 72 feet on the track surface itself. Um, we got a brand new timing system from AccuTime, which is behind us. Uh, we've done numerous renovations to bathrooms, um, to the pits, added some um, full RV hookups, uh, worked on the PA system. Um, really just a lot of like cleanup, a lot of paint, electrical work and plumbing that the list is just unbelievable. People um, that come to a racetrack, they, they think about the racetrack itself, but they forget that it's really like a small town. There's just so much infrastructure behind the scenes. Um, so we've done a lot of, lot of uh, upgrades on that stuff as well. I know the tower looks amazing now. Yeah, I mean, we're really happy with the tower. The one thing about the tower that it needs is it needs a new roof. So that's one of the things that's on our to-do list. And once you do the new roof, you can uh, now work on the suites and now work on everything else. But uh, honestly, compared to what it was 13 months ago, it's a different track. We're and yeah, you should be. And as we were just talking about earlier before we turned the camera on, quarter mile. You can run quarter mile, Rocket. Absolutely. Well, the, the surface is actually 5,000 feet long and 72 feet wide. It's one of the biggest in the world. Um, and we do a lot of quarter mile testing there. A lot of our events are quarter mile driven. And in North Carolina in that region, uh, primarily eighth mile racing is the only option. Uh, so we're pretty proud to still have a quarter mile capability. You think that there would ever be a possibility that we could have a national event again at Rockingham? Um, not from lack of effort on my part. I mean, we're trying. So uh, we actually have talked to the NHRA about uh, that exact subject and what it would take for us to be considered. Um, and they were gracious enough uh, to write us a letter and show us a list of things that we would have to work on. And those are exactly the things that we're trying to do. That sounds great, man, because I know that area. I've heard so much about Rockingham. I'm not originally from North Carolina, but I've heard so much about Rockingham. And I have every intention of going there next year. I see whenever we were looking at the schedule earlier, you have quite a few bracket racing events on there, which would be right up my alley, obviously. Uh, tons of Carolina no time stuff. What other what other type of events we have going on next year? I mean, there really isn't a type of event we don't have, and that's just being straightforward. Um, one thing that the flagship events that we have, we brought back Civil Wars, uh, which was a, a legacy event that had gone away, uh, and that was one of the first things we did as new owners is we brought Civil Wars back, which has uh, bracket racing, index racing, heads up no time, and we do a mid-track uh, no, no prep uh, race as well that you start at halfway and go to the quarter mile, and it's been just, it's just a little bit of everything, and, and that's kind of it's like a festival type event. Um, so Civil Wars, we have Mopars of the Rock, uh, and we're going to do twice next year for the first time. We're my the other owner and myself are both Mopar guys, so um, we're doing two Mopars of the Rock next year. Super Chevy, I think we're the last track to have a Super Chevy event, and we had a great Super Chevy this year, so we're super excited to do that again. And then obviously uh, SFG runs with us. We have a divisional NHRA divisional and an open. We have Dig or Die, which is top in no prep. It is the OG no prep top in event in the world. Um, we have three of those a year and actually next week, December 15th, 16th is the season finale uh, for the Christmas Clash, uh, the fourth edition of that. So, I mean, you name it, we have it. We, we have a junior dragster event over Thanksgiving weekend, which had just, uh, just a few weeks ago, had 220 junior dragsters out there, yeah. So in Harleys, I mean, we're a big Harley track too. We have three Harley events. Um, I mean, I could talk all day about what we do, but we really do a little bit of everything. Well, the most important thing is that Rockingham's open again and obviously you guys are doing everything you can to keep things going. I mean, we're still racing into December. Yes, next week, December 15th and 16th. So yes, we keep racing. So basically, anytime after January, basically show up to Rockingham. <laughs> Let's not get carried away. Our, our season technically starts March 2nd. So uh, December 15th, 16th, then we're shut till uh, March 2nd. And that's when we do all the renovations. Sounds good to me. So check out Rockingham Dragway. It's back, it's gonna be better than ever. Thank you. Appreciate it.